So the little uranium pellets, the fuel, goes inside a sheath. The sheaths are then arranged in bundles. The bundles are then loaded into this death ray looking machine, the fuel loader, which then slides the bundles into one of the reactor's 480 fuel channels. Then it's fission time. The bundles are bombarded by a barrage of billions of neutrons. The collisions unleash even more neutrons and very importantly, a ton of heat as the uranium atoms fission into smaller elements. That heat is then absorbed by the pressurized heavy water being pumped through the reactor. The pressurized water has a much higher boiling point than regular water, which is key here because it allows it to transfer the heat to the regular water that is flowing through a separate channel, all without any direct contact. So the steam that is created by boiling that water is not radioactive. The pressure from the steam spins a massive turbine, which then in turn spins a generator. And a generator is just a giant magnet spinning inside a circle of a bunch of other magnets. 